Okay, so I was in the middle of planning this stuff for uh, one more project for the freshmen. I decided, what the heck, I might as well teach planing while I'm at it. So, this is the large Oliver planer. It's 24 inches wide right there. It's currently running, so hopefully you can hear me talking over the equipment. There's both the planer running and the dust collection system running, which is kind of loud. So, this is the planer. This is the adjustment for the planer, for height and so forth. You do it by cranking left to right. It shows you on a plate there whether you're going up or down. Down here, right there, is the indicator showing you what height you're actually making it. So, I ripped a bunch of wood here for this project for the freshmen. You can see that some of it is rough and some of it is smooth. Um, I'm going to plane it all, gang plane it together, so it all goes out the same width. When it's all done, this will all be this. I already planed it to make it all the same thickness. I'm planning all to make it the same width, okay? So I, I ripped them a little over an inch, and now I'm setting, I set the painter for 15 16 which is about a 16th less than an inch. It will take off from one side. So I got this board here, okay? The key to gang planing is you gotta keep the boards together. So I'm getting in close here where the board starts. I'm clamping the four of them together. Three or four boards together works really well for this. You gotta keep them clamped with your hands together, okay? Put them in the machine. The machine grabs them, okay? I'm letting it pull in a little bit. I'm going to the other side and grabbing them again so I can keep them tight as I pull them out. If you have a partner doing this, both of you, if you have a partner doing this, both of you should be holding the boards tight to each other. That's how you get the best planing out of it. Now I'm taking these boards like this. That just came out of the planer, flat, okay? I'm taking them, I'm flipping them like that to go back to the planer for the second pass. I'm gonna take those and stick them over here on the table. You see I've got my pile formed over here for the second planing pass. So I go back over here again. I grab four more boards. Set them on the planer. Get as close as I can with my hand right there to the planer and clamp them tight as I put them in. Okay? Go to the other side. Grab them tight and hold on. They like to shift around a little bit. All right. There's four more done. Flip them. Put them in the stack. I'm going to finish these and I'll show you how to paint the second round. Okay? There's four more. So in case you ask on a test, this is called gang planing. It's how you make all your parts exactly the same width and thickness. Table saw won't do it because the board may flex a little bit or something, but here it's pressed against the table. I'm flipping them and back in the stack again. This is my last pile. This is probably kind of dizzying because I'm kind of doing this with a uh, GoPro, but I'm trying to get my camera on the best I can. Here we go. Definitely works better if somebody else is helping you catch them on the other side. One more time to see how it goes. That's how they came out. I'm flipping them like that. Now the unplaned side is up. I'm gonna put these back in my original pile again because there's nothing there. I'm gonna move these over so they're all in another pile together so I don't get them mixed up. So you don't do this, sometimes you can plane some and not plane others, and then it gets really confusing because you got boards of different thicknesses. So it's, this, by the way, this is what I did for a living. Uh, the shops I worked on before I had my own shop, I did this. In my own shop, I did this. This is how they do a lot of cabinet work and stuff to make sure all their parts are very, very consistent to each other. Plus, the table saw doesn't necessarily leave a very good edge on a piece of wood, but the planer leaves a very nice edge on a piece of wood. So, all right, so I've got them all over here now, flipped. 
I'm going to adjust this one more. So I told you I was at 15 sixteenths. By going one less sixteenth, I'm at 14 sixteenths. If you've seen your scale inch, that rounds down there. I'll be right back. I'll do one more pass and I'm done. Okay, guys? Here we go. Last pass. Bad side up. Clamping together. And through. Looks like class is over again. They're, they're running a little better this time because the other side's already smooth. Okay? And that's how you gang plane. See ya.